Have you ever had the wobbles so bad that everything just starts turning to jello? And no, I'm not talking about me personally. I'm talking about the IBIS wobble in the Canon R6. This camera has in-body image stabilization, which is great for a lot of things, but when you're doing handheld video like you so often do when you're out vlogging, it can have a little bit of wobble in the edges of the image particularly with a wide angle lens. I'm right now using a 15 to 35 set to 15 millimeters, which is the widest angle. And I'm wondering, does this have any wobble around the edges? So it'd be up in here around there, not right where I'm at. It usually stabilizes that very well. The good news is Canon says with the latest firmware update for the Canon EOS R6, they should have fixed the wobble or at least made it a whole lot better. So the next thing I need to do is go find the new firmware online and update my camera. First thing I have to do is find the new firmware on the Canon website, download it to the computer, then transfer it to an SD card, then I can upload it to the camera. It's a bit of a process. That's why a lot of people don't update their firmware. Firmware version 1.6.0 for Windows. That's the one I want. Now we put this back in the camera and see if we can update it. It's got to find the one that says firmware. Firmware. Let's see how long this takes. 1.6.0. And there we have it, version 1.6.0. Looks all ready to go. Now we just have to go give it a try. So what do you think? I'm still hand holding the camera and I've got the lens at its widest setting, 15 millimeters. Does that still look as wiggly and wobbly and jiggly as it did before? Or is it going to be a whole lot better? Can I even go for a walk with it? Of course, the sunlight changes a lot when I come out from under the trees. But one way or the other, I think this is probably going to be an improvement. I sure hope so anyways. Now, sometimes a firmware update doesn't really fix all the problems it's supposed to, and some of them even have little glitches in them. But in the long run, it probably pays off to update your firmware. So if this fixed the problem, I'm gonna be really happy. Now personally, I think that looks a lot better. Although I was moving around a little bit too fast and wildly at the beginning, so it was hard to tell if it was wobbly or if I was just moving too fast. But you could see some wobbles up in that upper left-hand corner right there in the trees where I had the red arrow. And I don't see any of that since the firmware update. That's a problem that IBIS has. It's really kind of intended for still photography to help stabilize the image because you don't get wobbles if the image isn't moving. But with the lens stabilization, in-body stabilization, and digital stabilization also available in this camera, it can be a pretty stable image as long as there's not that wobble around the edges when using a wide-angle lens. Really hasn't been a problem with a longer lens, so even this 15 to 35 at 35 millimeters isn't a problem, but so often when you're vlogging and you're hand holding a camera at arm's length, you're using a wide angle lens, otherwise you gotta have it on the end of a stick and it gets really hard to hold up after a while. Thanks Canon for taking care of that problem. The R6 is now my favorite camera, and before that I wasn't sure if it was a good thing to upgrade from the EOS R to the EOS R6. Now I'm glad I did. But the time has come to bear it all, and what that means is we're going to end this video with some gratuitous bear video.